So Manta Network became one of the fastest growing layer two that's EVM compatible. And now they have over 200 ecosystem projects. Now there's one game studio that I want to bring with you called Akartis Studio, and they're leveraging Manta Network ZK technology in their gameplay. So today we have with us Henry Spencer. He's the co-founder of Cartis Studio. How are you, Henry? I'm perfect. How about you? It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Awesome, man. It's a bull market, definitely. A lot more projects coming up. And the ZK is still a very hot narrative. So ZK and gaming, combining these two, it's always going to be uh, something innovative, right? Pushing this to the forefront for 2024 as well. So let's first uh, jump right into the first question. Um, you know, ZK Hold'em, right? Which is one of the first games and also Cartes Studio. Can you explain like the big vision behind what you guys are doing and why you guys also built on a Manta network? Yeah, yeah, 100%. So I, I think the, the initial idea of ZK Hold'em is that, you know, my, me, both myself and my co-founder, we are, you know, long-term poker players. So we have been, you know, struggling with this, you know, online poker issue, which is the, the trust issue, right? Like the players, they can't really trust those centralized uh poker platforms they they have been rugged they, their fans has been like stolen they have you know super users as we call it like that they are playing against you while being able to see your whole card so all of those problems are you know rooted in this centralization you know problem that the the traditional web 2 online poker platform is having so zk hold'em is basically a 100 percent fully on chain texas hold'em platform that's we are using ZK, ZK technology that make everything possible. So basically, with ZK Hold'em, every single player on the table will contribute a piece of randomness to, to the card deck they're using, so that no single player will have the access, will have the full access to the card deck. So they cannot manipulate it. They cannot have early access, uh, comparing to anyone else. So everyone will be playing on the uh, on a fair ground. So you know that's the promise of ZK Hold'em, and basically we're. Uh, we're one of the first projects to leverage the ZK Shuffle technology that's been built, uh, you know, initially by the Manta team. And we have our own cryptographer. We have done tons of mo modification on top of it. So it fits better to, you know, the card game genre and, uh, you know, uh, specifically ZK Hold'em and all the future games that we're going to develop with uh, Cardi Studio. So in terms of the reason why we're building on Manta, so one of the reasons is that obviously we're using their tech. And then secondly is that your know, Manta has been, you know, one of our uh, pre CD master. So, you know, they have been supporting us since the beginning. So we just want to show our appreciation to this new ecosystem. But, uh, but, you know, obviously in the future, we might, you know, uh, expand to other ecosystems as we see fit. But, uh, you know, the, the end goal is that we want to attract as many, you know, poker players that see, you know, trust or trustlessness of the blockchain as one of the top priority of their, you know, gameplay experience. I hope that answers your question. It does. And um, of course, poker is one of them where like trust is so essential, but even simple things like Uno or uh, traditional playing cards, there's always an element of, you know, someone could be cheating, right, in a physical sense. So I think for the first time ever, uh, making it where you can 100% guarantee that it cannot be cheated through ZK a digital cryptography, that's a whole new story and element. So it's really cool that you guys are doing this and focusing on a poker element, right? Which really kind of needs that uh, trust or trustless element that you mentioned. So that's cool and all. Um, I do have another question is, when it comes to, you know, Manta, right? Um, there's also that layer. And I know you guys are also building a layer three. Now, can you tell us more about, you know, what is this layer three? Um, what is the reason why you're using it? And I guess, uh, what's the benefit for these end uh, users? Yeah, yeah, 100%. So in, in simpler term, basically a layer three is similar to what Arbitrum is, or Arbitrum or Manta or any other layer two is doing to the Ethereum mainnet. Basically, we are building a roll up on top of the layer two so that we will be able to, you know, drastically reduce, you know, the latency, the gas costs on all the transactions happening on our own roll up. So the reason why we're doing that is because since Zika Hold'em is a fully launching game, it means that every single transaction, every single action you take in game is going to be an on-chain transaction. So you raise, you fold, you call, like your, your buy-in, every single action you take is going to be an on-chain transaction. So it means that if we're building the game uh, on a traditional like layer one or, or even layer two, as we're doing right now on Manta, the gas fee and, and latency can be, you know, somehow, you know, not ideal for, for user experience. And, you know, Despite the fact that you know we're bringing this trustlessness to the entire poker industry that haven't been seen before, 
we have to you know have a reasonable user experience in order to compete with the traditional web two poker uh, poker platforms you know just imagine if you every single action you take is going to cost you like uh you know a few cents or like 10 seconds to tr- to process it's it's not really a reasonable like user experience anyway it will drive people crazy especially like for pro- professional poker players who's being maybe they they might be playing like 10 games at, at the same time it's going to like drive them insane so you know that's the core reason why we're building our own layer 3 so that on our layer 3 it's basically uh uh, application specific uh, roll up so that it's only serving Tika Hold'em the single dApp. And then obviously in the future, when we introduce more game, uh, we, we might like move out of game onto our own layer three. But the idea is that this layer three is going to be the core like foundation for the, for the like entire cost studio ecosystem where they don't need to like compete resources with, you know, other like, for example, DeFi dApps or other GameFi dApps where, you know, it might sometimes like drive the fee super high or like um, having like congestions on the chain. So, you know, that's the idea. So we just want to make the best possible user experience with the existing technology. And, you know, in terms of layer three and roll up as a service, you know, this on the infrastructure side, the, the, the space has been growing like super fast in the, in the past year. So, you know, that's where we're trying to, you know, catch up on. Yeah, it's awful and funny because um, with the growth of blockchain, it like introduced a problem of being able to pay like gas fee per transaction. And that didn't really exist in Web 2, right? So it's almost like this layer 3 and what you're talking about is kind of solving this problem that shouldn't have been in the first place, but because it is because of blockchain. So that's cool. And uh, I think, you know, layer 2s are good, but especially when it comes to, like you said, user experience, it's still not there yet in terms of Web 2 standards. So yeah, I think a web layer 3, right, would make sense. So on to my uh, next uh, question. Uh, I did talk about how Manta Network became one of the fastest growing uh, L2, and they actually became a uh, top three within all of the Ethereum L2s um, within uh, by late uh, January. And it now powers over around 200 ecosystem projects. And of course, you guys are one of them, right? Um, I do want to you know, ask you again, why did ZK Hold'em, out of the many, many blockchains out there, layer ones and twos, choose a Manta? And then what's like the core integration with the ZK technology aspect? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, so you know, as I said, you know, Manta has been our like early backers. So, you know, just show appreciation. We'll have to like like work work with them at least in the first stage. But you know, more importantly, as you know, the Manta uh, Manta Pacific, you know, there too has been launched last year. You know, we have seen like insane growth in term of like uh, you know user user base in term of TVL. So, what I've seen like w- what we have seen is that the Manta team is capable of this. You know whether it's marketing, whether it's, you know, campaigns, whether it's, you know, huge collaboration with large protocols and, and KOLs, they have this ability to, you know, attract large amount of users and, and capitals to the chain. So, you know, that's the exact thing we're looking for. So, and, and in terms of the user base, it's not just anybody, you know, because like with their, for example, with their new Paradigm campaign, where they launched basically at the same time as they, you know, launched the chain, it, Actually, you know, I think absorb like around like less a little bit short of one billion like uh, TVL into the chain within you know one or two months. So I think that's really something uh, amazing to see. And uh, and with that, we can also tell that the the kind of users that are attracting to to the chain are actually the DGEN type, the trader type, the 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 type of user who are like more valuable comparing to let's say the airdrop farmer or like more like retail people with less capital so you know but in, in crypto as you already mentioned you know crypto and, and and poker has this you know natural synergy or the, the user base is overlapping like has has a huge overlap basically so and we want to attack this you know high profile high profile individuals with uh, larger capital who are Gonna, who are willing to pay a little bit of gas fee to ensure that the fairness of the game is guaranteed on the code level, and you know that that's only only making sense because if you're only playing like five dollar or ten dollar per game, it's not really you know economically feasible for you to play on a blockchain. You you rather you know just play a Web two game. You know it it doesn't really matter much to you. So you know that's the 
you know, initial idea of why we're building with Manta. But, you know, I, I have to admit that, you know, the blockchain space is growing super fast and we, ha- we have seen a lot of other like vibrant e- ecosystem coming up. So, you know, th- it's, it's possible we're expanding to other ecosystem to attract different user profiles. But at this stage, I think Manta is our, but, but you know, not, not for now, but also like for, for the future, Manta is always going to be our uh, home base, basically. Gotcha. Yeah. Like a lot of times these questions, the answers are, you know, they have the fastest TVL. I mean, uh, sorry, it's fastest TPS, um, you know, good TVL and so forth. But I think, uh, you know, your answer reminds me of it really boils down to community, right? And the quality of that too, which is so vital for yeah, any exactly. blockchain ecosystem, right? Yeah. And uh, you mentioned, you know, new paradigm. That was a big success for Manta. And uh, I know building upon their uh, traction, they also announced the Renew uh, Paradigm campaign. And uh, a lot of it is like, you know, monster yield and all these uh, attractive points, right? Can you tell more about how ZK Hold'em is an ecosystem partner for this? And then how can I as a user, right, or community member ZK Hold'em participate within this Renew Paradigm? Yeah, so, so basically uh, you can see Renew Paradigm as basically an ecosystem a, 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 a meta ecosystem in large campaign so that in well, I think right now 12 different projects like top projects building on Menta so that every single uh, project that's being partnered with the Menta for this renew paradigm is going to contribute a, uh, like uh, you know a few percent of their total token supply to the users participating in renew paradigm so you know I, I think this is a really uh, innovative way to bootstrap a community because you know we have seen you know, on other ecosystem previously, like uh, airdropping tokens to existing pro- uh, protocol users and stuff like that. But this large ecosystem getting together and coming up with this huge campaign, I think this is something we, we haven't seen before. So we are super, you know, happy to be part of it. And like in terms of user, uh, it's it's rather, you know, easy to be to participate actually. So with uh, Decodem, for example, you will be able to, you know, since, you know, playing uh, any card game on Tico Hold'em, you need to purchase a chip first. So chip is our in-game currency. Basically, everyone will use this to bet in-game, etc. And then, uh, so by, by purchasing chips, you will be able to stake your chip on Menta uh, Renew Paradigm page, and then you will receive back Z chips. So G- Z chip will have all the same uh, utility as chip, but only on top of uh, playing uh, using Z chip in game to uh, bet, you can actually earn extra yield from it. So the extra yield actually compose of a few different things. First, uh, Menta is uh, distributing 3 million Menta token to the entire uh, uh, to the entire Renew Paradigm campaign. And also, Zika Odom, we will be distributing 25% of our total token supply to all the like, Renew Paradigm participants. So, you know, like with Zika Odom, we are uh, basically like providing a little bit more token compared to other projects uh, participating in Renew Paradigm. And the reason why for it is, you know, Car Studio, we're a gaming studio where we're going to develop other games in the future and all those games is going to have their own token. So the, the Zika Odom token, the reason why we designed the tokenomics this way is that we want to do this launch as far as possible to get the token to as many holders as possible so that we will going to basically issuing the token as, as a market uh, marketing, uh, as a marketing strategy so that we will have absorb enough user base to Zika Hold'em and then the, this user base will be converted rather smoothly into our future games. So, you know, we are distributing like 25%, you know, other projects maybe like 3% to 5%. So I think in terms of, I guess, r and r in terms of, uh, you know, a trader or a, a ecosystem participants, I think Zika Hold'em is definitely one of the top bets within the projects that's uh, going to be in the Renew Paradigm campaign. Understood. And it's good for the community too, because when they know that a large supply of the entire token, right, is actually allocated for the community, um, that's a very good sign in terms of, you know, leveling up the, leveling up the playing field and making sure that it is for the community, not just uh, certain private investors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's the idea behind this, uh, you know, fair launch and, and we, we're trying to stick to it. Yeah. And also, it's almost like a two for one. Um, if I participate, I get uh, exposure to both the uh, Manta and also, of course, uh, ZK Holden tokens. So it uh, makes it uh, worthwhile, right, in terms of your time. 
exactly exactly yeah okay so you know that's a uh, one big uh campaign that's going on now i'm sure you guys have other uh, new announcements product releases partnerships or other things to get excited for so what should the community expect about the zk holdem for this year yeah i think uh in the shorter term the two major things that we're going to launch soon is that first is the layer 3 that we just talked about we're going to launch our a car studio with zk holdem layer 3 on top of menta it's going to be based uh, on like arbitrum orbit uh, uh structure so basically it's, it's going to have low finality it's going to have low gas cost so the user experience is going to be like much much better compared to the our current version of uh on menta midnet and then secondly is that we're going to launch our the golden token right after the the end of uh renew paradigm campaign so we're, we're thinking about like in a month to a month and a half or so so you know that's going to be like super exciting for the entire community like our uh, community has been, you know, following Zeke Holdem, the progress of Zeke Holdem for more than a year now. And, and finally, it's the time we can actually, you know, share the entire platform with the community. So, so it's really exciting for us. And, uh, and, and I think like in term, in, in more like micro, uh, picture, you know, in terms of Car Car Studio, we're actually de developing our second title as well. It's going to be a fully on chain trading card game using the exact same uh, ZK technology that we're using for Zika Hold'em. So we basically, you know, got some modification to it so that it, with the, we can, uh, you know, make the game super fun while being able to ensure the fairness of the game. So, you know, with the, both the card game and the Zika Hold'em, we're going to introduce, uh, with our second version, we're going to introduce, uh, you know, uh, features like, uh, player bet, like player betting, like, uh, you know, prediction market, Basically, you will be able to like bet on the result of a certain game so that you can profit from it even if you are not playing in it yourself. Because, you know, that's the entire ETO of crypto. That's hyper, mm -hmm. you know, hyper econ economification, right? So, uh, so yeah. So, you know, those are a few things that we're working on. And with our second title, you know, we cannot really share too much at this moment. But it's going to be, as I said, it's going to be a trading card game. It's going to be based on entirely this uh, digital culture of crypto, you can see a bunch of like big names like Michael Saylor, like SPF, like Suju, etc. You know, in the game as playable, uh, you know, cars that you can use. So uh, look, I'm super looking forward to its launch. And I think, you know, it's, uh, we're gonna, you know, post more like social contents and work with a lot of like KOLs and influencers to push it, push this thing out. So definitely stay in tune. Yeah, exactly. And I think um, as you guys release more of these uh, games, right, and prove to the world that, okay, ZK is actually useful, I mean, it can be understandable in the sense of, hey, you know, ZK shuffle and these things, there might be more and more of these uh, traditional type of game studios starting to adopt it because they need to innovate too, right? And the Web3 could be a stepping stone. So it's good because in my opinion, um, ZK is still quite complex for a lot of people. It's more on the infrastructure level and most people don't really understand the benefits. But uh, when it comes to gaming, I think you can make it much, much more appealing and uh, yeah, understand, easy to understand. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And, you know, with the game being on chain, we can provide this fairness that has been, you know, unprecedented before. And, uh, you know, with this fairness, we can actually, you know, unlock the potential of blockchain. Like, like people will be able to, you know, ex exchange everything for everything and this digital world that has been seen as you know fake or you know not real as you know just fantasy can become like like a real economical ecosystem and i think that's the most you know exciting thing about blockchain and, and you know blockchain gaming in general absolutely yeah and when you can feel that you know have fun with it that's even better right with gaming yeah 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 okay great so yeah henry um thank you so much for sharing this information uh, like you said, big times, right? When token launches, um, game comes out, people can actually do more things. So uh, best of luck. Um, do keep us updated. And we hope to have you back on again on our show, right? For our new updates and the next uh, thing that's coming with Carte Studio. Definitely, definitely. Thank you, Mishing, and, and thank you for the invite. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure talking to you. Yep, likewise. Thanks, Henry. Bye. Perfect. Bye.